Hey everyone, this is Warren from the Rhapsody Piano Studio. I want to welcome you to today's live lesson. We're going to be learning uh, Cardigan by Taylor Swift. This is going to be for easy piano. And before we start, if you're watching after the live stream is over, make sure you hit up the cards for a copy of the sheet music and also the link to the video tutorial. You need the sheet music <laughs> because I, I teach with the music primarily. And the same thing with, with all my lessons too. Uh, and if you don't know how to read music, I could totally get you started. Check out the videos I have in my description, um, as well as the comment section. I'll, I'll pin it after the, the live session is over. But um, it's not hard to get started to read sheet music. It's a pretty simple process, but you know you got to be patient because it does take a long time to get good at it. But you know it's it's not like uh, it's not going to be a real impossible task. Trust me, just try it out, okay? And then the tutorial, you're going to need the tutorial because. This lesson is a step-by-step -step instructions, how to practice correctly. Tutorials are more just for like self-study, right? So this is really just showing you highly individual, like step-by-step -step instructions and the tutorial. If you really understand the things I'm showing you in these lessons, then you're gonna be able to use these tutorials. I'm serious here, okay? All right, uh, Mr. Piano Boy, what's going on, man? I like that name. I'm a Mr. Piano person myself. All right, last thing before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, subscribed, you want to catch whenever I go live. In order to do that, you need to hit the notification bell. Uh, what is not going up? Right, it's going up, I think. Oh, it's going down. It's like an elevator. Okay. Yeah, and you also need to hit the, subs the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to catch whenever I go live. I got some daily videos coming for you and, um, so uh, make sure you keep up with it. It's a lot of content. Just see if you can keep up with me. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to straighten this out. A little bit of a perfectionist with these angles. <laughs> Maybe not so much. All right. Cardigan. I'm going to show you how to practice this from the... Uh, obviously, we started from the beginning, right? basically played the first four measures all right and this is the first step I'm practicing I want to pick the smallest section that you can manage at a time now we're gonna go back and just do hands separate the left hand since these are a lot of whole notes longer notes I don't recommend just counting four beats it's kind of a waste of time so I'm just gonna go from one position to the next so I'm gonna show you again basically practicing the pattern here. Okay, now try that with me in the left hand. Ready, go. Yeah, and then when we go back to both hands, you're, you're gonna play all the notes correctly anyway, so you don't have to really worry about missing like, you know, uh, a quarter note here and there, okay? Now the right hand. part here are those triplets then make sure you get the rhythm correct okay and it's just simply listening and practicing let's try from the beginning just the right hand ready go then we just go back to both hands Together, ready, go. Okay, funny enough, every time you think of cardigan, I keep thinking of corgis. Obviously, you see, I have a corgi at home, right? Uh, maybe she should call this Pembroke, okay? Yeah, it's kind of a cheesy joke. All right, let's keep going. So next part, C. 
sequin smile. Is that how you say it? I think it's sequin, right? Not sequin, sequin. Okay, so basically, it's the same idea. You're gonna take the next section, and if we need to do hands separate, we do that, and back hands together. So here's the next part. So if you noticed, uh, it's it's pretty much exactly the same as the beginning. Okay, so a lot of pop songs and sometimes the classical music genre, uh, as well as jazz. Actually, every genre usually there'll be some parts where they're kind of repetitive. Okay, that's just the nature of music. So uh, this is one idea of practicing section by section. It'll save you time because if it's the same thing, you don't need to practice it. If you play play the whole song from beginning to end. You're not gonna be able to notice that, so sometimes you practice sections that you don't need to practice. So this is also a really good time-saving method, okay? Now we're just gonna go to the next part because it's the same, so if I haven't made that clear, skip parts that are the same and just practice parts which are a different. So you want to um, think of like a mantra, okay? All right, so here's the next part. So I'm actually just going to do two measures at a time. <laughs> All right, I'll keep going. All right, so I actually, yeah, if you look at these four measures so from there, the first part in melody, but I knew you. And if you compare it to the second line, I knew you. All right, that's the only difference in what's going on here. Okay, so let me show you. The second part. All right, so, um, and then everything else is kind of a repeat. All right, so let me play this whole four, uh, four measures for you again. And then you can kind of hear, it's only the beginning parts of e each of those phrases are very different. And then everything else is the same. Hi, Sarah, how you doing? Uh, every time I see your name, I want to eat some boba. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go from the beginning. Okay, so I, if you're listening very carefully, I, I hope you kind of heard those very, just, it's just a couple notes of difference here and there. Now, one thing to mention, uh, they do indicate at the beginning you want to swing the 16th. So whenever you get to a 16th note, that's what they're talking about. Okay, don't play straight through because that's not what they're asking for. They're asking for a swing rhythm, which is this. Okay, so every time you get to those, swing them. All right. Um, now let's try. Let's try this part together. Okay, but I knew you, and we're gonna stop. Uh, yeah, four measures. Same. It's about four measures. Okay, ready, go. Okay, now if we go to the left hand, again, these are whole notes, so we're not going to count them per se. Okay, now a good thing about this arrangement, if you do choose to get it, they kind of tell you, or they, they tell you what the harmony is above each uh, measure. So if you're wanting to try to practice, you know, a little harmonic analysis as well, it's a pretty good arrangement. So G major, D major, C major, back to D major, and then we have A minor here. Okay, so let me show you again. Together, left hand, ready, go. Okay, then we just go back to both hands. That's a little too fast. together ready go <laughs> thank you
thank you, Sarah. Uh, you know, it's funny. I, I think the good thing that has come out of this whole, you know, pandemic and, you know, quarantining yourself at home, is I see a lot more of my students on my live stream. So it's great. Thanks for being here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Sarah. I really appreciate that. You are definitely one of the most positive students in my studio. Mm. Hope you always stay that way. Okay. Now we're going to take the next four sections, okay? Four measures, I should say. The next section, and then there's a repeat, all right? Um, so we're going to take it all the way to that repeat. Sorry about that, the wrong, the wrong harmony right there. We take the repeat, goes back to the beginning. There's that double bar with the two dots clearly indicated, okay? If you go left hand, I'm gonna skip the left hand here because it's the same pattern as the beginning. So you see here, we actually don't need to practice hands separate. You only need to practice your right hand and then hands together. So that's also another good benefit to this approach. Sometimes you skip a hand here and there, okay? Sometimes it could be you skip the right hand, you play the left hand, and hands together as well, okay? So it's not always right hand, left hand, hands together. So these combinations kind of work. Um, you, you can kind of figure out what you need to skip here and there, if possible. Hi, Morgan. <laughs> My other student, welcome to uh, the lesson. That's all right. Homework's, homework's important. You don't, you don't want to get bad grades in school. Okay, now here's the right hand. So we have more triplets here. have 16 so make sure you swing those same thing at under now same thing here someone's bed we have more triplets but kind of have the swing 16th note swing into a triplet kind of hard because you got to like immediately shift into a different um different uh rhythm so what could happen so that that kind of could tend to happen a lot so don't swing that okay Right, so it's swing and trip ball in, right? So that might be a part you just kind of hone in on in practice, right? And we look at the next part, you put me on. Okay, so it's pretty much the same, okay? All right, so careful with those parts. Now let me play these four measures for you once again in the right hand. Together, ready, go. Okay. Hey, Vincent. How you doing, man? Is that you? Is that the Vincent Vincent that I know? <laughs> if so, this song's going to be way too easy for you, man. But thanks, thanks for being here. Okay, now back to both hands. By the way, even if this is uh, if, even if this is kind of super easy for you, Vincent, and kind of anybody who's watching, they watch this like it's a little easy, right? Uh, I'm showing actually how to practice correctly. So practicing correctly is a, is a step by step process that you can apply at any level. So this is the same process that I can use for that something like Mozart variations, maybe even like an etude, right, from Debussy or like Chopin or something very difficult. This is basically the same idea. You just kind of have to be a little creative on, on how you apply it, okay? But I hope you use this process, okay? It's also how to keep interested in this lesson without blinking out. Or, you know, if this is really easy, see if you can just kind of pick up everything that I'm playing right now like, as fast as possible, right? Okay, so let's try that together, okay? Last uh, four measures of this page, and when I felt like, ready, go. Now, I can kind of show you the last step of this process. You couldn't do it on the first page because there are two repetitive sections, right? So this second page, now what you're going to do is when you have one part and another part, 
So far, these sections are going by four measures at a time. It's not always four measures, and when you get into more difficult music, it, it could be a little bit more sophisticated. So sometimes it could be two, three, six measure sections or something like that, right? But you know, this pop song, usually they're very simple. So four measures at a time, another four measures, you simply just do addition. Now we're gonna do eight measures. So we're just gonna put it together, okay? you do this is because if you've never practiced this way then you kind of need to because it's a matter of concentration if you can only let's say you're you're exercising right and you've never run around the block before right you're, you're gonna get halfway and you're gonna get really winded so you have to kind of develop your physical stamina here you have to develop your mental stamina so that's also another good reason why not to practice a song from beginning all the way to the end because you lose concentration when you lose concentration you're gonna make more mistakes okay all right, um, yeah, okay, so I, I guess we'll do this, hands separate, okay, and in fact, I'm gonna kind of skip the left hand here. You know what, this is a section, I think we could just do both hands together, okay? <laughs> kind of flip-flopping, sorry. Let's just try both hands on this page. Hi Charles, how's it going? Welcome my friend. All right, here we go from the top of the page. Ready, go. So that's the second page, and if you actually, you know, it, it basically you're, you're taking this idea of doing longer and longer sections, like bigger sections, and then you just build it up until you have the whole song. So technically you could go back to the beginning, and now put these first two entire pages together. So if we're counting, right, this is simple addition, eight measure section, and then you go back to the first page, more eight measures, then you're trying to work on 16 measures at a time, okay? And then you just repeat this process throughout the entire song yeah by the way this is a great turnout this is kind of the most people on my live stream i've had in a while awesome I, I thank you all for being here all right uh now one little tip for you guys when you're able to play at this level let's say hand separate was kind of a problem before you know so you're doing right hand left hand when you get to the point where you can do both hands together i think that's a clear indicator that you're improving so you know you can continue to practice more songs at this level hand separate but then also once you challenge yourself and the only way to get better at anything in life, and the piano as well, is to challenge yourself, right? So that's a clear indication you should move on to more challenging, more difficult material, okay? All right, now we're taking it from the second ending. Uh, I actually did that wrong. I actually told you exactly what mistake to avoid. I just, cr I just made it right now. I wanted to see if you can hear it, but anyway. All right, now I'll go back and play it correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven measures is a little bit uneven. Let's say six measures, okay? Um, I'll give you from top of this page, six measures. It's really hard to kind of know where to divide this part up because we have kind of like the second ending, which is a little transition going into a next section. So this section I gave is kind of a, it's an uneven number. I'm not saying odd, right? I'm not saying odd or even. It's just kind of, it's not exactly four measures, okay? All right, um, we're just gonna do this up both hands but here let me actually show you a good way to practice when you get used to this we're just gonna do right hand and then hands together for the rest of this lesson because looking at the next part the left hand is very simple and there's really not much new here okay so kind of going back to the idea I said in the beginning where you don't always have to do each hand separately and hands together 
For the rest of this lesson, we're going to do right hand and hands together. And then I'm going to see if I can give you guys a bigger section. So it gives you a good target, a good goal to reach, right? So longer sections, also an indicator that you're getting good at this level, okay? All right, so here's just the right hand. Uh, counted that wrong. Sorry, I'll... I I was trying to think of something to say at the same time. But anyway, um, so we have more triplets there in that beginning and then from favorite, then so favorite, rest, and then a little bit different. Okay, so we're gonna stop right there. Now let me play for you one more time. Uh, my, minus the Minus the uh, brain freeze, okay? Also, another indicator you're getting good at this level, you'll, you'll tend to do what I do, is kind of sometimes when I'm playing it, since you don't really have to worry about the rhythm and the notes so much, you'll tend to daydream, okay? All right, uh, here's the right hand, let's try it together. Ready, go. back to both hands. Yeah, kind of kind of like you too, Morgan. Yeah. Um and by the way, it's not a problem. You know, when people say like, you know, keep concentration, stop thinking about the thoughts. If, if people didn't daydream, we wouldn't get stuff accomplished in this world. It's like a huge sign of creativity. So don't listen to people who say like, stop daydreaming. Keep, keep your head out the clouds. That's, that's actually how we accomplish stuff. Keeping your head in the clouds. Of course, not all day long, right? All right, here we go from the top of the page. Cardigan, ready, go. section Did you hear that clearly uh it's the the chorus from the beginning Yeah, so this next part, before we even get into it, it's, it's pretty obvious what I'm going to do when we get there. We're going to skip that section. But anyway, let's go back to the previous one, two, three, four, five. It's five measures, okay? Uh, so just the right hand, same thing, where I said we're just going to practice right hand, hands together. It's kind of hard to play. The, it's harder to play this part uh, with the right hand just by itself. So it's like actually a good uh, way to practice rhythm. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ready. Go. Hands. <laughs> I'm gonna 
accidentally added some notes there, but whatever. Okay, let's try this part together, both hands. Ready, go. Okay, now top of the page with second ending. This whole entire section now, on that idea of building bigger and bigger sections, okay? So now we're gonna do right hand, hands together. Ready, go. Huh. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. All right, oh, uh, okay. I think I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna plug my phone in anymore, man. That's like the second time that this, um, it's re like overheated. It didn't used to happen. Maybe I think that means I need to upgrade. Ugh. Okay, uh, funny thing is like I, I tend to not want to upgrade my equipment because usually like you don't know if the newest equipment is going to have bugs in it or not. But anyway, yeah, it's going to be smooth, smooth sailing from here. I got enough uh, battery charged. Okay, I don't know where that left off, but uh, I think we need to do this part hands together. <laughs> I hope that's where we are. So we're going to do hands together here. Um, so I we did actually didn't do uh, I'm not gonna show you this time all right so that was the thing I wanted to throw you for a little loop a little surprise here and there so we're gonna just try it together top of the page okay ready go have much more respect for people who um who do things like on a live tv show because you never know what's going to happen and try to get right back into the swing of things anyway so i just want to show you here instead of me demonstrating first and then playing i just want you to try it with me together because everything has good parts and bad parts to it like this process right i'm showing you step-by-step -step instructions sometimes it's easy to just get lulled into you know like autopilot or complacency so sometimes it's good to have a little surprise to spice things up some mix it up could actually help boost creativity and um things like concentration so uh, i hope that example worked okay for you guys all right uh let's go to the next page so this looks the like same skip the first half of that page the next those four measures obviously is exactly the same so we take it from I knew you this part so let me play this part for you four measures and we're just gonna do hands together now instead of doing hands separate hands together is what you want to think about is when you get when you get used to something just don't stay there 
right? Because the, the, sometimes people have an idea, like they just want to stay in their comfort zone. But remember, you can only make real progress outside of your comfort zone. So when you get used to something, I would say immediately try something that's a little outside of it. And you don't have to like really go crazy, just something that's slightly harder than something that you're used to, okay? All right, let's try both hands. Ready, go. to the next page here I'm gonna throw out another challenge I'm gonna try the whole entire page so this is the eight measure section that I'm gonna try to give to you here okay So, this entire page now, let's see if we can try it together, both hands, okay? So, kind of escalating up the challenges for you. So, remember to try to apply this wherever you're at and you're on your piano journey. Here we go. Linger like a tattoo. <laughs> Interesting lyrics. Ready? Go. last page here and we're gonna quickly wrap up this lesson but I want to ask you guys if you have enjoyed it and also good job on making it this far shows you that you're really serious about your piano practice okay if you have enjoyed this video hit that like button it really does help me out and shows me that you guys are really uh, enjoying these videos and you know uh, it's also a good way to support me and after this lesson is over make sure you uh, share this video there we go share this video for with a Taylor Swift piano playing fan okay I'm gonna give you the entire last page now we're gonna wrap the lesson up if you want to stick around for the recap I highly recommend it because it's always a good good idea to review some of the principles you've learned that day but if not then if you're on your way thank you so much I appreciate uh, your attention and you being on this channel all right here's the last page <laughs> appreciate that all right here we go both hands uh, let me let me take it a bit bit slower because a lot a lot of different things happening on this page so yeah ready go Okay, so that's the end of this lesson. If you gotta go, thank you so much for your support. Look forward to helping you in the future as well. So this was Cardigan, Taylor Swift. This is for Easy Piano, and the arrangement that I have is about six pages, okay? <coughs> oh, excuse me, pop into my shoulder. All right, uh, so these are, these are the basic steps on how to practice. You do one section at a time small section that you can take at a time. And if needed, if necessary, 
hands separate, hands together, okay? Not always necessary. If you can do both hands at this level, it's probably too easy for you. Do something where you kind of have to separate both hands, okay? Um, yeah, so and in some instances, you don't always have to do left hand, right hand, hands together. Sometimes it's just one hand and then both hands. You know, left hand also, both hands as well. I feel like a mime here. But anyway, uh, so a lot of different combinations you can play around with as well, okay? So that's, that's the first part of this process. Then you just repeat the process. Next four measures or whatever number that section is, same thing, hand separate, hand together. Then kind of the last step of this process is to just connect it into a bigger part. So if we have four measures, you know, the four measures combine, like, you know, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, I was thinking Transformers, Optimus Prime. But anyway, you connect it together. So we have four measures, four measures becomes eight measures, repeating the same process if necessary, hands separate, hands together, okay? And then you just do this for the entire song until you have it done. That's basically all it takes, okay? Also, remember to pick up a copy of the sheet music. I teach primarily. Every lesson here is gonna, you're going to need the sheet music, uh, learning how to read and all that. It's really not that hard. It's a long process, but it's not hard to get started on learning how to read. So make sure you hit up the description as well as the comment section for some more resources on that. Okay. And also remember to check out the tutorial after this lesson is over. If you've done this, if you went through this lesson, with the sheet music and fairly successful, then try to practice with the tutorial all on your own, okay? And my students are living proof that in fact you can call them tutorials because they're able to study with those videos all on their own, okay? All right, don't, don't take my word for it. If you really want some proof, go to my Instagram channel. Yeah, my Instagram profile channel, huh? Yeah, but um, you can see proof right there. Like all, all the students that we have on my channel that I feature, they basically just use the tutorials um, during the week when we don't have a lesson and they use that as a study guide. So it, it's really the proof is in the pudding. It's right there. So check it out for yourself. Okay, all right. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys cool off for the rest of the day. Avoid the heat stroke <laughs> or whatever you can. Man, it's getting hot out there these days. So stay cool, uh, stay happy and keep on practicing, okay? I hope you guys have a really blessed day. I uh, can't wait to keep uh, posting these videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy them. I'll see you guys next time, and happy practicing.